For at TV, the world is thinking. In my book, um, I have these, this horrendous bottom that I read about leaving my kids parked outside a dope house, and then sober up for 14 years. I end up getting really good jobs, including one with Claire who's sitting right here. Everything goes my way. And the promises that recovery bring, which you may or may not, you know, which you're probably familiar with, just, you know, heaped up around me. So that I ended up, like, with a nice house and a nice car and this good job. And after 14 years, I thought, you know, I wonder what would happen if I, like, poured whiskey all over this. I wonder how that would go. And so I ended up back in the handcuffs, back in detox, back in... Um, so I'm three and a half years from that, and part of the reason that I started on the book is, like, I must have sort of forgot what happened to me. And there are, I mean, the rooms are full of people that have relapsed, right? But they, sometimes I think it's that some relapse so others don't. So they come in and they say, I thought I was just sticking a toe into the water and I got my whole leg chopped off. You know what I mean? My idea was I will, I will, I'll not be sort of a poly-addicted garbage head crack guy. I'll just be a nice suburban alcoholic who keeps the occasional bottle of vodka under the couch or in the garage or whatever. And that's what I did. But you know what? It ends exactly precisely the same way. So it was... Like, my empirical research led me to believe that I have a inbred allergy to beverage alcohol that makes it, it different uh, 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 for me. I'm going to go out with some friends after this. Some of them might drink too much. Some of them might not drink at all. But I'm the only one probably there who, if he drank, probably would end up in the tenderloin with a bunch of cholos at 5 in the morning looking for God knows what. That would be my idea of a big, big fun. And that's just, that's how I roll. I just, it accesses a part of me that is fundamentally ungovernable. And when other people go home, I don't. I just keep rolling. And that dark, terrible part, that's actually what, um, what I seek. I'm, you know, in clinical terms, without getting into any sort of names, I'm like what they would call a two-stepper. Don't drink, go to meetings. And then all those other steps are sort of like lost to me. But if I do those two things, then I get to the next day.